Was everything all right at work today, Gina? What the fuck is that? Brian, please. No! It's bullshit and you know it. Brian, can we just drop it? That's the problem! We never talk about anything! Why do you both have some stupid notion that you have to make everything seem normal when it isn't? The whole time Mom was sick, we didn't talk about it. Brian! No! I can't do it! I can't ignore this and act like nothing happened. What are you so afraid of, Dad? That you're gonna find out that, that there's more to deal with than our everyday bullshit? I need you, Dad. Everything is so fucked right now, and you're asking her how work was today! Mom is dead, okay? She's dead, and she's not coming back! You know what? Fuck you! You're not alone. <laughs> I loved her so much. And I had to watch her slip away. There was this story that she loved. It was called The Princess and the Boy. We used to tell it to the kids when they were very young. It was about a young peasant boy who saves a peasant girl from three vicious attackers. Although heavily outnumbered, the boy fought with all his might until in the end, his spirit and determination prevailed over the attackers. Wounded and tired, he turned to the girl only to find that she was gone. But no matter, for her face would stay with him forever. True love had gripped his heart. And he knew then and there that he would look for her until the day he died. So he began his journey. The boy searched for years and years and he began to think that he might never find her until one day he came upon a castle. As he drew near, he saw the face that he could never forget. His legs grew weary and his heart nearly leapt from his chest. He had found her. But to his surprise, she was no peasant. She was a princess. They stared at each other, not knowing what to say. And with a kiss, she thanked him for saving her life. My wife was the one that I had been searching for. She was my princess. But I couldn't, couldn't save her. I couldn't save her.